Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Anderson Silva to defeat Michael Bisping. And I am here to talk about Karolina Kovalkiewicz versus Deanna Belbita. By the way, if you haven't seen Bisping versus Silva, go check it out. Even Bisping versus Vanderlei Silva. That one was kind of cool. Anyway, Carolina is 37 years old, 15 and 7 as a pro, and she's given up 4 inches of height and 4 inches of reach to 27 year old Belbita, who is 15 and 7 as a pro. Same record, but much different records. Uh, Kovalkiewicz, her 7 losses all come in the UFC, and they are to excellent competition. She was knocked out once, Jessica Andrade. Quite forgivable, considering she's the only girl at that weight who's got knockout power, really. Uh, she was submitted twice. Claudia Gadea and Jessica Penne. Those are two world title challengers in the UFC and two of the best grapplers. So uh, no shame there. And then her four decision losses come to excellent fighters who have all been elite at one point or another, even now. Yolani Jacek, Jan Jaunan, Michelle Wooderson, and Alexa Grasso. And I wrote Carolina off after some of those losses, you know? Watching those losses to Jan and Grasso, it seemed like a changing of the guard, a passing of the torch or whatever. And it was to some extent. But it doesn't mean, it didn't mean that Carolina was done fighting. Like I thought it meant. But after those losses and a long layoff, she came back, and I thought she was going to retire with that Felice Herrig fight. But she looked incredible there. Got a rare finish, a rear naked choke in round two. And since then, has returned to fighting, looks reinvigorated, and she's on a three-fight winning streak. I expected her to lose against Vanessa Demopoulos there in her last fight. I picked against her, and I knew immediately, like within a minute or so, she was going to be winning that fight. And... I think, yeah, she's 10 years older than Deanna Belbita. Deanna Belbita is still entering her prime, and she's still patching up holes in her ship. But uh, Carolina is still an excellent fighter, uh, you know, at 37 years old. And uh, she's got uh, quite a bit going for her right now, you know. And I am rooting for her. I'll, I'll just be honest here. I try to be unbiased, but I am always rooting for Carolina pretty much. Uh, but uh, I'm still uh, very impressed, rooting for her or not, with how she's looked at 37 after what I thought was a retirement. So uh, here she's fighting Deanna Belbita, same record, 15-7, and seven, but those seven losses uh, do not all come in the UFC. A few of them are in the UFC, but uh, not all of them. She lost four times via submission. It's because she is a striker. She is a striker. First and foremost, and she's comfortable striking. I'll say that. I can tell she's definitely comfortable, but she's still not such a refined striker. You wouldn't know she's been striking for so long by looking at her. She seems a little unpolished, raw, and kind of sloppy, to be honest. But she's still comfortable in there, never been knocked out. She's got six TKOs herself. But uh, she can be bested on the feet, definitely, Deanna Belbita. She's not the most dominant force, and she's certainly not the most technical. She can be beaten to the punch. But where she can be beaten easily, most easily, is on the ground. She has four submission losses. Three of the girls have made it to the UFC, the three girls to armbar her, and she also lost once via guillotine. Uh, Christina Stanciu, Ariana Lipsky, and Luana Jojua all arm barter, and all three of those, I believe, were from the guard. And this one girl guillotined her, Ioni, whatever. That was in round two. She uh, just jumped on a guillotine in a transition. She's weak on the ground. I'm sure she's getting better and better. And look, she has four submission wins herself. It's not like she's some total slouch. But at the UFC level, it's always going to be the biggest hole in her game. And uh, even Molly McCann was, uh, you know, trying to go through her strike and bully her on the ground. And uh, it can be done. She can be crowded and she can be dominated if you're able to get inside and get her down. And I think in this fight, uh, I'm definitely picking Carolina to win. Like I said, in a stand-up fight, uh, Carolina Carolina's an excellent striker. She's probably not as powerful as Belbita and she's certainly not 
you know, a spring chicken. She's 10 years older, slowing down and all that. But Carolina is very comfortable on the feet. She can rough you up in the clinch as well. She's con confident everywhere. But on the ground, she's got a big advantage over Belbita, in my opinion. Probably from the top or the bottom, if she should find herself there. And I think Carolina is uh, going to be stronger on the inside. Uh, and she's going to be able to rip uh, Belbita to the mat. I see Carolina winning this fight. I'd love to see her get a finish over Belbita, who does seem submittable, but I can't count on that. I'd be inclined to go with a decision. But I'm definitely siding with Carolina. I think she's got more ways to win, and I'm pretty sure uh, she's going to find one of those ways. So Carolina is the pick. Her money line is minus 160, decision plus 105. I bet on her money line because I don't trust Belbita not to get finished, I should say. Uh, you know, I think she's still got some major holes on the ground. And Carolina, she's underrated probably on the feet and on the ground. But she's certainly underrated on the ground. So I'm just staying away from props and I'm betting on Carolina. Carolina Kovalkiewicz, like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. And check out my other videos.